Hey guys and girls, you know the Wither Armor sets? I was looking at them the other day and I saw this weird purple one and I was like, what is this? I've never heard of this one before. In all seriousness, today we're going to be talking about the Maxer Armor set and just why is it that no one uses it. Now for a good amount of time, I thought it was just outclassed by Necron by a very small margin. But, uh, well, you'll see soon. It's supposedly designed for archers, focusing on high crit damage and speed with a great HP and decent defense. Now this is all well and good, but let's take a look at its main competition, Necron Armor. In terms of defensive stats, Necron comes out on top, but that's okay, that doesn't really matter much since it is a damage contest. Well, I'm not sure if you could call this much of a contest, really. So before I reveal the exact numbers to you, consider that archers are known for high crit damage. The Maxer Armor has 120 crit damage, which is pretty great. Now Berserkers are known for high strength. As such, Necron gives 160 strength. Now how much crit damage do you think Necron gives? Keep in mind, Maxer gives no strength, only crit damage. It gives none, which is pretty fair considering the astronomically high strength it provides. Nah, I'm just joking with you, it gives the same amount of crit damage as Maxor. Really? I mean, what the fuck? The only thing Maxor has going for it is speed, but damage is most important after all, and you can get speed via other sources, such as the Rogue Sword or Hose. Oh no, no wait, never mind. Okay, but numbers are numbers, let's hop in game to do some damage tests. First we got 3 fourths Necron plus Warden Helmet with the Giant Sword, which does around 700 to 800k. Now if we switch over to 3 fourths Maxor plus Warden Helmet, it does significantly less, peaking at around 710k. Oh yeah, speaking about the Giant Sword, take a look at below this video and you'll find the giant red button. Come on now, you know what to do, don't let me down here. Also, maybe press left click on the like button and comment something if you're feeling extra funky. Anyways, not a massive difference in damage, but it's noticeable. Even without the Warden Helmet, Necron still outperforms Maxor by a similar margin. As for in dungeons, the difference grows even greater due to the Catacomb stat magnification. Necron does around 20% more damage than Maxor, which is a lot. But Pauliner, Necron is more expensive! Fair enough, fair enough. Maybe mid-game Berserkers and Archers who want something better than Shadow Assassin would want to temporarily switch over to Maxor before converting their gear into Necron pieces, since you can just convert it into another Wither set whenever you want to. But uh, you see, here's the issue. Shadow Assassin does more damage than, than Maxor. Yeah. A floor 5 damage set does more damage than a floor 7 one. Yikes. Now keep in mind Maxor armor will still be better against Necron, because each piece will grant a 10% damage boost against Withers, but less damage overall is a steep price to pay for just a bit more damage against Necron. Now while Maxor may be doo-doo in the damage department, it does have a small niche in clearing. The speed it gives is massive, especially in dungeons. As such, some players choose to go with Maxor boots over whatever they had for the speed boost, although this was a rather rare sight to see, since Hose provided the same functionality, but didn't cost your boot slot. But with the recent change, I imagine more people will start using Maxor boots in dungeons. As for the other pieces, I doubt they'll ever see any real use unless they buff them in some way. Ok, but how would you buff them? The first thing that might come to your mind would be an inverse of Necron's damage stats. Instead of 160 strength and 120 crit damage, it'd have 120 strength and 160 crit damage. But with the speed it gives, everyone would just start using Maxor over Necron. Maybe you could have it give like 100 strength and 140 crit damage, which is still a decent bit less damage overall compared to Necron, however this would likely just result in Berserkers and Archers alike using 1-2 Necron and 1-2 Maxor pieces. They'd be using the same set. With the Wither Armor sets, the admins wanted one of each per class. They originally intended for Maxor to be an Archer set. Even if the Archer sets they came up with in the past weren't the best, they seem to understand what Archer sets should do, give a boost to arrow damage. So why does the quote unquote premier best archer set in the game just not buff arrow damage, like at all? It doesn't have to be by much, it just has to be enough so that archers start using it over Necron. Every other Wither armor set has a prominent place in the meta, but Maxor just feels incomplete. Admins, please buff it along with buffing these nuts. Anyways, that's basically all I have to say. I'm finally done with school for the next few weeks, so expect more uploads. Aight, peace.